Think about this for a minute when you talk about client experience. The client experience in the tax industry, in my opinion, stinks. What do we do? We save all of our receipts, we bring in this big bundle to our CPA, we throw it on his desk. We don't wanna go there, it's like going to the dentist. We don't wanna be there. We're not looking forward to it. It begins with a poor experience. The CPA inputs all the data into the software, spits it out, and hands you two bills. Usually it's a surprise bill because you told me you're gonna bill me at X amount per hour and you think it was 20 hours. It actually turned out to be 40 hours because all my stuff's a mess. And, and it's surprise billing. I don't know at the end of the day what you're really going to bill me. And if you told me it was $600 for that return and you give me a bill for $820, I'm immediately unhappy because I don't know what you did. I think you were sitting in the back room on a coffee break or you weren't actually doing the work. And so that client experience is one, I get surprise billing from you and two, I get this fat bill from, for the IRS that I don't wanna pay and I, I'm just frustrated. And so I think when you start looking at what is the pain, one is, is I don't wanna pay taxes and I don't really wanna document and gather and save receipts and I don't wanna do any of that. If I'm a dentist, I wanna be a dentist. I don't really want to be a business owner and save receipts and I don't want to be a taxpayer. That's one thing I don't want to do. The other thing is, is we then send them the tax return and what do your clients do? Do they look at it? Do they read it? They go, what? I owe that much money? They don't look at anything in the details. It has language and verbiage that they don't understand and they don't care to understand and they're not going to read it. Corvi's website has a quarterly tax impact report that I highly recommend you implement. And what happens in the client experience is what I call cognitive dissonance. They look at the tax return, they look at one number, they look at your bill, and they have a hard time understanding this connection between was this a pleasant experience and was it favorable to this really stinks and I don't like it and I guess I'm gonna pay this bill and they leave your office mad. How do you have that relationship with that client? They trust you as an advisor because taxes are complex, but they don't really like you because you just handed them a bill. And they didn't see all the work that you did in the background, and they didn't see all the hard work that you're doing. They just see this disconnect between their bill and the tax return. And we have a prime opportunity in that gap to change things, and Corby does that. If you show them an impact report, and then define the outcome for them, fill in the gap, we're able to tell that client really what's happening on their tax return. We're able to tell them or define that experience for them. And there's a gap of opportunity that I think we have a great opportunity with Corby to be able to see that gap. And that gap is don't lead with here's your tax bill and here's what you owe the IRS and the state. Start at the top and say you made this much money and this is what the tax impact report does. We modified it, we pulled it off Corby, and the tax impact report says, here's the impact of what Ethics Pro Accounting and Tax has done for you. You made this much money, and you were gonna pay this much. And I put that in a big number, and I let them go, what? That's what I owe? I go, oh no. Turn the page. This is what you owe. And they go, I was gonna pay 80 and I only have to pay 23? That's a different experience. That's a different experience. Because if you lead with the 80 and you show them, hey, I did this, this, and this, and these are the strategies we used, and this is what you owe, there's a sigh of relief that what you did for me has a huge impact. And now I showed value to the client of what our services are doing, rather than just saying, I sent you an email, there's a link in Corby, download your tax return, if you think it's good, sign it and send it back. We have to stop doing that to our clients. It's just a bad, bad experience for them. And it's a poor experience and nobody likes it.